big as G and R, 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 Jeff and Riddick's music review, the best and only place to get your music reviews. Today we are reviewing two albums, Dark Moon, Dark Side of the Moon, uh, what'd you think about it, Riddick? Um, hold on, I got my notes on it right here. Uh, dark, dark side of the moon. Uh, I gave uh, the song one breath. I, I thought it was kind of boring. It took an awful long time for the uh, vocals to come in, and uh, I think you know singing is very important in a song. I agree. It uh, it just really it, it kind of sounded like he was crying, and like honestly, like the heartbeats at the beginning. It's really uncomfortable in the footsteps and everything. I just yeah, I didn't like that. <coughs> Give me a really weird vibe, man. And I actually um, the first time I heard that I I, I skipped it because it took so long. I didn't even make it to the vocals. I went straight to the second song. I mean, I went back obviously to listen to it because I I just thought there were no vocals. But yeah, then you go on to the second song, and there's no singing at all. There's nothing, and I'm like. Where are you, Robert? I think you had to order the album wrong, but... No. I get what you're saying. I, I, I think I got it right. That's the second song, There's right? There's on the second the song. The Run. That's the third song. <clears throat> oh, well, I got a terror in here, so... I, the two is... It looks like a one. I'll forgive you this time. Okay. Maybe you should do your homework next time. Well... The Run, uh, On The Run, um, had alarm clocks, which I thought was a really bad idea. It reminded me of school, personally, and I don't think a lot of people like being reminded of school. That is very true. So, I think whoever <clears throat> whoever like put that idea should have not done that. I, I did like the uh, toms in that song. Aren't there the toms that go do 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 do? Yeah, yeah, I like those. Yeah, yeah, I, I did like those. That was cool. Yep. But, um, uh, it was too long. Uh, it was too long, and it was too long without vocals. Yeah, not enough singing. Uh, no lyrics at all on the third song. I guess thought it was the second song. And then you go to the fourth song. They're singing. Finally, uh, but what's interesting about that song is they decided to <coughs> halfway through the song they go back to the second song, which is like it's kind of lazy. And that was a song I didn't like. Yeah, exactly. It's like why would you bring back the worst piece of this album? So I thought it was kind of lazy. We're back. <clears throat> we didn't really finish that uh, last album because the woman yelling for too long and there was not enough vocals. It was just too long, too boring. So we just decided to call it quits. I gave it 5 out of 11 though. So it could have been better. What did you give it? I, I gave it a 4. Just not enough words. There's a song that had started have singing in it where we, we turned it off, if you remember right. Because she just sounded like a dying whale. It it just wasn't enjoyable. There's no words. You just started going, ah! Yeah, it's like I spit half the album wanting words, ah! like finally give me some lyrics. And then I, I think there's gonna be no. Nope. No. Alright. Good penis though, but yeah, five out of eleven. Four. So Next album, which I like personally a lot more, just recently came out <clears throat> by Taylor Swift. It's called Repetition. Repu Reputation. Right? Good. Uh, well, same word. 
we uh, we gave it a shot, and uh, it turned out it was sweet. So, what did you think about uh, about that first song, uh, End Game? Oh, uh, song one, End Game. Yes. It was featuring uh, Future and Ed. Uh, she talks about her... Edward own. Sheeran is a real looker, ladies. I know... Oh, yes, Ed, Edward Sheeran. Um... <clears throat> I just thought that I, I really liked the song. I thought it was very catchy. I liked that they said reputation a lot in it. And um, but the one thing I thought was kind of silly was it kept talking about their reputation and everything. And the album is called Reputation, but the song is called Endgame. So I just figured they could have named the album something else. And the song should have been named Reputation since she's talking about her reputation in the song. But that was my only flaw with a very catchy, great beat. I don't know what you, what you thought about that. I just thought it would have been nice to hear a girl say that to me. Uh, the next song we wanted to talk about was I did something <clears throat> bad. <clears throat> uh, I didn't want to listen to it because of the name. Originally, uh, I just don't. I just don't think it was a good name. That was that was the one where she w she went. I did something bad. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, uh, I think the name goes with that. Yeah, but I didn't like this song, and I didn't like the name, honestly. I love Taylor Swift, but uh, I kind of thought it should have been deleted. I mean, yeah, you could have. The Gunshots? There's a lot of songs. The Gunshots were cool. Let's see, that's bad gunshots in the song. So, maybe that's why she called it that. Uh, and here it said, uh, parts of, parts of her voice was like in a hell. <laughs> her parts of her voice was like in a hell? It was like she was in. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest here. I think. I think I mentally blocked out this song, cause I don't remember much of it, and I wrote that it should have been deleted. And parts her voice was like in hell. So. I think. I, I think she and sounded I, like. She, I she hate was it. In hell, which I. I think you meant because like this album Maybe. seems to have a bunch of issues. And it's a lot of a lot of troubles. Lots of trouble. Because I think she might have done something bad. Kind of a takeaway for you Taylor Swift heads. Um, she she did run like conspiracy a... Conspiracy theory of brewing. She did run like a rapper, which I thought was cool. On that song. Um, what was next? Yeah, I was hoping you could tell me... This is why we can't have nice things. I think that's the next right? That's song number three. Or four. This is why we can't have nice things. I, I really like that title. I know you didn't like the last one because... I, I like that title because it kind of... It's kind of like a meme right now. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking how I... Uh, I just recently got my cats back, mm -hmm. and I have a really nice jacket, and I got cat fur all over it, and I couldn't wear it to work today, and I was like, this is why we can't have nice things, and so, like, I thought that was very relatable of her. It is, and uh, I think anybody with cats can agree that uh, you can't have nice things and own a cat. It's true. So. You can't. It's a fact. Um. Uh, I just I like the piano work in that song. 
there's like that. Da, 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 I felt. Da, da. I felt a little tear. I, I really enjoyed that song. Uh, I felt a little tear roll down my cheek. Um, that one really. The piano. It, piano got good. It really hit uh, uh, close to home for me. So it, it was good. Uh, I, I really liked it. That there was clicking in it, which was a cool idea. Uh, there were too many of the snared, the snares. But uh, the piano guy was good though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was cool. I mean, I think it really brought everything together. It was. I really enjoyed that track. I, I would give that track alone 11 out of 11. That's true. I think that was possibly my favorite track on the album. And maybe that's a, a Stranger Things reference, so there's another conspiracy of brewing, maybe. Taylor Swift and Stranger Things, you know, that's like peanut butter and Collaboration. Butter. Not saying I made it happen. I think she should write the next soundtrack for Stranger Things. Stranger Things I think, Part 3. I think she should be Eleven's sister. Great. In Season 3. Part three, Taylor Swift, stranger than than the things. She is stranger. Taylor Strange. Taylor Strange. She should uh, she should change her name. Okay, so uh, gorgeous. I, I, that's the next track. I I wrote I don't know. I wrote had to stop this one. Um, I typically. As I mentioned, love Taylor Swift and am fond of all of her work. But this album, uh, it was hit or miss for me because that last song, I would, I would take with me to my grave. If I had one thing I could have in my casket, it would be that last song, an MP3 on a flash drive. <clears throat> so yeah, I didn't like Gorgeous. Um... Loved uh, Princess Taylor. No, uh, what's the song? What's the song called? The last one. Well, we were we were talking about okay, gorgeous. No. Anyway, uh, what's the next one? What What are you do? New Year's Day. New Year's Day. Which is very smart. Uh, it, it, good timing. It's a recent album. For those of you who don't know, it's December something, uh, 16th, I think. Which means New Year's is right around the corner. Uh, it's coming up. I really liked that about this track. Uh, New Year's is coming up, and New Year's Day is very relevant right now. Very relevant. So that was cool. It applied to me. Lots of lyrics. Sounded very sad. There's not, there was a lot of nice pa piano in it. Um... I, I like how it was sad and it took me places. And One thing I noticed about this is that I didn't hear one wrong note. That's true. It was amazing. There were multiple voices going on at once and I didn't hear one wrong note. Lots of wrong notes I thought on the, on the Dark Side album. There was something that just didn't sound right. There could have been work, definitely, but... Taylor Swift on New Year's Day nailed it. Uh, didn't hear a wrong note. Uh, and it really reminded me of New Year's. Yes. Too, which is something that I, I, I also like. Not only... So I'm always sad. Well, yeah, and everybody needs a good pick-me-up. Sometimes people, it's New Year's. Sometimes it's Easter. Well, I'm always sad on New Year's. <laughs> but I thought you liked the song. I do. And I thought the song was sad, so I thought that's... That's relevant. Well, we both got different vibes from it, and that's cool, man. I, I thought it was a, a great song. It wasn't sad. It really, I, I was very happy. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about it. Uh, it really reminded me of New Year's, and it's, it's coming up, so it's cool. Uh, next song, What Are You Doing? No, it's Look What You Made Me Do. Sorry about uh, <clears throat> the delays. We uh, we just 
just want to bring you the qu best quality uh, music reviews, so I just want to apologize so far. Um, look what you made me do. Uh, made me want to listen to some of the other music on the album. Yeah, when I first heard it, I was like, I like that. So uh, I definitely was excited. Yeah, it. Uh, mm -hmm. I, although I, I really I, I didn't like the music videos for it. No, it was too scary. Uh, it reminded me of the. What's that video called? The you Monster know? Mash. Yeah, the Monster Mash by Michael Jackson. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just. You know the, yeah. I yeah, it was too creepy for me. It, I thought it was, I, I, I did like this song, although I thought it was a little bit insensitive to school shootings. Very true. Um, just because it was, it, it, a lot of gun references, a lot of hit list references, a lot of, it was just a little, a little weird. Um, but the, 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 um, <laughs> the hook is really good. Ooh, it, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you, what you, what you do. They rhyme. It's cool. It's, it's cool. I would, like, if I had to oh, rate, if I had to rate that song. something bad. And I'm not kind of referring to it earlier in the album. I guess it all kind of ties So in. it's kind of like that conspiracy. Taylor Swift. 2018. Well, anyway, I uh, if I had to give that song a rating individually, it would be at least a nine, nine out of eleven. That's what I gave it. I gave it a nine, nine out of eleven. That song or the album? Oh, the album. Sorry, the song. I gave it a, a seven. 7 out of 11. But the album altogether, I gave it a 9 because I just thought it was beautiful. I gave it a 10 out of 11. Mm -hmm. um, I thought there was a lot that could have been different. Uh, I like a lot of, of uh, Taylor Swift's earlier work, but definitely uh, 10 out of 11. Great job. Um... Do you want me to sign off, or do you want to sign off? You can do it. Uh, this is uh, Riddick and Jeff with GNR, RMR, Jeff and Riddick, mus real music reviews. reviews. Catch you next time. I don't know if you actually listen to a lot of the Dark Side of the Moon. Me?